What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy and I'm back with another video and we're talking Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. That's right, a game everybody's super hyped for, super interested in. Man, man, it releases this Friday. Oh my God, there's so much hype around everything, right? Well, this is a game that was even rejected by mainstream press as, as being unplayable when the preview game was actually coming out. You come over here to actual... Uh, kill the, the Justice League. Ah, you, you come over here to the actual Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League preview from IGN where they played it and didn't like it. IGN, the bastion of industry that always gives everything at least a six or a seven. They didn't even like it. And I, if memory serves, they gave it a very, uh, they didn't even give it a score. That's how much they didn't like it. Then you come over here to something that just came out a few days ago. Where's our Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League review? Well, because uh, it's starting to look like because uh, WB saw that they weren't very fond of the preview title. Um, they didn't get a review title. Yeah, IGN, the most shilliest of shill game journos out there. Somebody that has been on record of not wanting to give out bad scores, even to bad games. They didn't even get a review copy. That That's that's literally kind of funny and sad all at the same time that Suicide Squad's uh, whole people didn't want to give IGN a review copy because they didn't like the preview game. God, IGN gives everybody a 0.6, even if it's bad, like unplayable levels of bad. And even WB didn't want to give them a freaking copy. Well, it's kind of interesting, especially when you start getting this coming out. We're aware that a number of players are currently experiencing an issue whereby upon logging into the game for the first time, they have full story completion. To resolve this issue, we will be uh, performing maintenance on the game servers. During this time, the game will be unavailable. We expect this to take several hours and we'll update once we have more information. We apologize for this inconvenience. That's right. The game for early access players launched already and within mere hours, it had to get pulled down because of a bug that auto completed the entire game. I don't know how that's even possible. I physically do not know how that is a possibility for this game. An autocomplete bug? Where the heck has that been? That, that's like game journal mode for everybody. <laughs> wow. This, this is a, a joke of a game. I just got to be honest with you. The, outright, this is a major joke of a game. This is a game that is being made, helmed actually by uh, Sweet Baby Inc. This is a game that has all sorts of disasters just waiting to happen. Just recently ended up finding out, hey, guess what? The Joker's in the game, guys. Set in the uh, Arkham universe as well, which, which one doesn't make sense. So this has to be a completely new Joker, right? Well, they're not really telling you the answer on that. This Joker is also a uh, DLC character. Yeah. I only get it if you like pre-order the game and everything like that. And uh, when they're talking about this particular playable Joker, um, they were saying this Joker is going to be finding himself and discovering who he truly is, heavily implying that he's probably going to be gay. I'm I'm not joking. Uh, the 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 are the, this new Arkham verse version of the Joker is potentially going to be super duper gay, and they don't care. This is also uh, the company and the game that put this clip out. Guess what? The game's finally out for early access. That means I get to play this clip. For those of you who don't remember the rumor about this clip and had this clip going around, we couldn't play it at the time because people were getting copyright struck left, right, and center. You ended up having actual uh, freaking rock steady come out and say, don't look at the leaks. Don't look at the leaks, everybody. If you look at the leaks, it's bad. You're going to ruin your time. You're going to ruin your fun. I want you guys to remember, this is Kevin Conroy's last performance as Batman. This is his final performance as Batman. And this is what this com uh, this game and this company decided to do to Kevin Conroy's most iconic role as the Batman. In my opinion, Kevin Conroy legitimately is the only Batman out there. This is what they decided to do to him. He used to be real good at hurting people with words. But you, boop. Even when you're evil, you're still too good. You had a good run, Brucey. Flying around Gotham, punching bad guys, cleaning up the streets, causing long-term mental and emotional damage to everyone you knew.
This is hard even for me to watch, guys. This is really painful just looking at the uh, Kevin Conroy's Batman in this uh, uh, way, seeing how beat up he is, seeing how bloody he is. This is not how Kevin Conroy's Batman would go out, especially the Arkham Batman, but it keeps getting worse, guys. It's our turn now. After all we've been through. Oh. But you didn't think it'd be me at the end. Habits! Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. He's not even tied up. They ju they're just... No! God, this is hard to watch! Final performance of Kevin Conroy. The final outing of Kevin Conroy, and he is beaten by a bunch of D tier villains that would never be able to actually beat Batman, gets not even roped up. Not even roped up, is just sitting there on a goddamn bench, and he gets executed by Harley Quinn as she's parading around, acting like she's better than him and gleefully pops one in between his eyes. This is disgusting how they treated Kevin Conroy. This is outright barbaric how they are dealing with this. I don't care what people have to say about this game. You know what? Anybody good that says the game's probably good, decent. When you have even IGN's coming out saying they didn't like it. When you have IGN unable to get a copy of this game to actually play it, that tells you how bad this is going to be. That tells you how disrespectful this is going to be and how much disdain Rocksteady, Sweet Baby Inc., all these companies at one point in time were helmed of this amazing franchise with the Arkham universe. They have fallen so low and are going to treat the most iconic iteration of Batman in such a way that is sickening to the stomach. That was hard even for me to watch. That was my first time actually watching it all the way through. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of dead inside right now. I, I, I can't wait to watch this game fail miserably because I don't know anybody that is legitimately excited to play this video game, but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out, friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.